Alright, continuing with opening boxes and finding what's in there. We have 11, uh, well we have one, the Boys Home Weekly, with uh, Horatio Alger's. And then we have um, 10, the Boys Best Weekly. I'd like to look into it to see if uh, it's a continuation or a separate uh, dime model, uh, Westbrook dime models. We're in the uh, beginning of the 1900s. It's got some tape on the edges. Spine is in good condition. And that was number 29. Start off with number 35 in the Boys Best Weekly. Again, Arthur Westbrook Publishing. These are all in pretty good condition. Got a pencil mark there, an ink mark there. Spine does have some splits on it. Back cover's in good condition. Pages are tan with the illustrations. <clears throat> Number 38. Small ding down here. Spine is in good condition. Same with the back cover. Yeah. Pages are uncut in places. Number 39. Some slight discoloration from dust on the edges. Pages are uncut. These are going to go on our website as well as our eBay site, Dime Novel Hunter. To get to the website, simply throw a www in front of Dime Novel Hunter and a .com on the end. It takes us to the website. Website offers free shipping in the United States. If you need to contact us, you can contact us through eBay, or we do have information on the website on how to contact us by email or by phone. This is number 40. Same circumstances, a little discoloration from dust. Small spot there. Spine does have some splitting in through here. Looks like from age. Pages are tanned. Number 41. Paperboy cut, right hand corner. Chip out of here. Split from the spine from there to there. Covers in good condition. Pages of cream. <laughs> Look like maybe had to make a bomb there for a minute. Number forty-two. Swipe. Extension on the uh, paper on the bottom, so an undercut cover there. I don't think it was trimmed. Small piece there. Pencil mark, right hand corner, left hand corner. Pages are uncut. Number 43. Small piece missing up in the left hand corner. Slight chipping on the edge there. Piece missing down here. Spine is intact but does have some chipping. That cover's in good shape. Pages are tan, some of them uncut. Number 
44. Overall, very good condition. Quite overrun up here. Spine is, looks brand spanking new. I'm going to be very surprised if these pages aren't uncut. Yeah, uncut. Lastly, oh, no, not lastly. number 48. Got a ding here, got a tear here. Front and back cover are detached. Spine is split 100% as you would expect. Back cover is present, does have a rub down there, a split there. Pages are tan. Now lastly, number 50. Got to look to see if this is the last in the uh, series. We don't see these up very often. Um, book is in good condition. Very good condition. Slight rub there. I'm not even sure what that is. That might be part of the front color cover colors. That covers in good condition. It's got a pencil mark up here in the left hand corner. Pages are uncut. As I said, these are going to be listed on our website as well as our eBay site, Dime Novel Hunter. If you have any questions, please ask.